In March this year, Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Gobin Ganga, had confirmed that the process was still ongoing to determine whether a banking or financial license will be issued to Trinidad's First Citizen Bank Limited to operate in Guyana. This was one year after Scotiabank announced it was selling its operations to First Citizens, one of the leading financial services group in the English-speaking Caribbean. But by the end of May 2022, the agreement for the sale between the two banks expired and was terminated in accordance with its terms. Scotiabank made that public on Thursday via a press statement. Scotiabank remains committed to providing the highest level of customer service and quality banking solutions to our customers in Guyana and across the Caribbean, the brief statement from the bank noted. When the newsroom reached out to the governor, he confirmed that the Bank of Guyana was no longer pursuing the banking and financial license for First Citizens Bank. We were doing our, our assessment. Right. Yeah, that was it. Mm. So while we continue to do our assessment, apparently um, Scotia had up to the end of May, I believe, okay, an agreement with uh, First Citizen. Mm. And if they um, haven't done what they were supposed to be doing or didn't, you know, during the process, uh, questions would have been asked, documents would have had to be submitted. And if that process didn't uh, complete completed by then, then obviously citizen, um, Scotia had the right to cancel the agreement. Right. Um, but what does that mean for the application from First Citizen for a license? Will it still go ahead? Would they withdraw it? What does that mean for that process? As far as we are concerned, at the end of it, because um, they asked for a license to acquire Scotia. Mm. But the bottom line is that um, there is no reason for them to, um, as I said, right. continue with an application if they are not going to acquire Scotia. Dr. Ganga said Scotia Bank has committed to staying in the market and providing the best service possible. No, well, as you see, the letter would have been very clear. They will continue to do what they have to do with the highest level of service. Right. Right, they have said that. Mm. And they've, commit, they've communicated this also to you? Yes, they have. Right. Scotiabank first announced the sale to First Citizens on March 3rd, 2021, and had noted that this transaction supports Scotiabank's strategic decision to focus on operations across its footprint where it can achieve greater sale and deliver the highest value to its customers. Scotiabank's current operations in Ghana encompasses four branches and approximately 180 employees. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Kurt Campbell.